the service is delivered to our children in schools, we're not going to cut that. Governor Romney said he was not going to cut education, and then the next thing we knew, those cuts were made. He increased the class size by eliminating jobs for teachers. We had class sizes of 38, 40. All the talk about we need smaller classroom size, look, that's promoted by the teachers' unions to hire more teachers. We looked at the relationship between classroom sizes in my state and how the kids were doing. We found there was no relationship at all. When I hear Mitt Romney talk about that class size doesn't matter, I want to say to them, come be in a classroom with fifth graders and tell me if class size doesn't matter. What happens in large classes, kids get lost. And what may affect them today in a cut, that they miss something in their education, for the rest of their lives, they're going to be affected by that. I remember visiting a second grade class and they wanted to know where their reading teacher went. And I said, well, we had to let her go because we didn't have the money. We'll cut back on paper, we'll cut back on pencils, but that can only get you so far. And then you start removing services. We had to raise transportation fees, bus fees. Students had to pay fees to play sports. Our program was decimated. As president, I will pursue a very bold policy of change that will restore the promise of our national education system. When I hear Mitt Romney talk about education, it's sounding very much similar to when he ran for governor of Massachusetts. He was very interested in saying the right things at the right time and did not think out the impact. And I look at Mitt Romney, what flashes in my mind is that second grader who wanted to know why her reading specialist was cut. I do not believe that Romney's approach to education will be good for us at all. Our children of the future are going to be robbed of an affordable, accessible, quality education with Mitt Romney at the helm.